Okay, it's me again, and I'm here to show you yet another cool feature about Replay Converter. Um, the developer created a feature that allows you to convert just a portion of either a video or an audio file, and it's um, super great if you want to create ringtones or if you only want to convert a portion of a file. So I'm going to show you how. So I uh, click on Add Files. It takes you out. In this case, it takes me to my Replay Converter file folder, but again, you can go anywhere on your computer and find whatever source file you want. Um, I am going to ask it to convert, um, there is a Beatles song, yes, Got to Get You Into My Life, and I know that I want it to convert starting at a minute 42. So what I do is right click on it, go to extract. Now I need to put this in seconds, so it's 102 seconds, and then I want it to convert for 40 seconds. Um, I want it to start at the chorus is basically it and then just play to the end of the song um, or convert to the end of the song. So I click OK. So it's going to do that. Then I am asking it to convert to the same folder, that original folder, you know, where the original was. It is an audio um, file and I'm going to ask it to convert to an iPhone ringtone format. Um, but if you haven't seen that little tutorial, um, just the way to get to whatever format you want is you pull down the drop down menu, you either choose from one of the default um, formats that are there, or you can click on add more audio formats and it'll take you um, to this list. And it's very simple. And also you have the ability, just as a reminder, if you right click on any single one of the formats, you can go to edit target format properties and really make um, some very refined um, adjustment to the format so that you are ensuring that you're not going to lose any quality, but I'm not going to do that because I'm just doing it this way. Okay, so then, so I've got my file selected, I've indicated in seconds when I want it to convert, and I now click go. Um, the progress bar comes up and it tells me that, wow, that it's, um, uh, looked like it was done <laughs> super fast. Oh, it is done super fast. So, and because I asked it to convert from and to the same folder, I just right click on my file and I can go to open current target folder. It brings up the folder that my original is in and also here, where is it? It says, ah, oh, it's at the end. The Beatles got to get you into my life. So I click on that and it'll bring up iTunes. My life. So that works beautifully. So really the only tricky thing about doing that is you have to remember that um, Replay Converter will accept the instructions only in seconds. So in other words, if you want to convert two minutes and 30 seconds into a song, you have to remember that two minutes is actually 120 seconds and then add 30 onto that. So you'd be converting from 150 seconds on. But anyway, super cool, really fun feature. Um, great, like I said, if you just want to convert a portion of either a video or an audio. Um, and I hope you have fun checking it out. Arrivederci.